What is going on guys, Masuka Emma here for you today, back with a review of Infinite Warfare uh, and Call of Duty 4 Remastered. So I played it, um, well it's currently Sunday, and I played it like 13 hours ago, and I really, really want to share this out there because I know some of you are Call of Duty fans like myself, and you're not being able to go to EGX to go play it, uh, but I was lucky enough to go to EGX, could you go support me? And I got a press pass, I was able to go play it today, and it's oh, so good. So I'm going to go through like the layout of it, uh, the actual gameplay, what I thought of it, and just what what I generally think of the game. So um, let's go for the basic uh, layout of it. So when I sat down, um, it had like the start and loading screen uh, there. Um, so you got to choose your classes, everything was unlocked. Um, so Infinite Warfare we'll start with. So the layout of it is kind of very similar um, to the last Call of Duties. Um, it's like when you go into your custom classes, um, you've got your character, you have different, like, I think five different characters you could choose from so it's kind of like in black ops 3 where you had your different kind of specialists in a way um so every character is a bit different in which way so it's still got that from last year and when you go into the classes the guns look similar so it's like i seen the gun which kind of i can't remember the name of it but it's like the ak-47 kind of looks similar to that but more future futuristic and I was like, oh, right, go with that one. And it's still got kind of like the same sights, like red dot and all that stuff. And it's kind of like, I didn't see anything like new on like uh, perks or anything like that. They looked exactly the same. Um, then when it comes to like looking at the gun, it was still the same. Um, you, like you used the right analog to spin the gun around, what it looks like. Looks really, really nice. Looks really like kind of crisp. Looks very, very nice. But I did also see as well, I don't know if this has been announced or what, um, but the remake of Terminal which is interesting, so I've seen Terminal was in it, but I'm more fut futuristic, because it's kind of like a little sideshow uh, when the maps were going on, like different maps, uh, different modes and stuff like that, and obviously I didn't really see any like new game modes, just your classics, Team Deathmatch, Domination, Free For All, and I played Domination, I did, um, but I played on this map, I it did remind me of a certain map, I can't think of it, it was in... Infinite Warfare, or not Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, it looked very similar, I was like, this reminds me of something, I can't think of the name of it though, um, but it's kind of like the general feel of the map, it felt very similar, it did, and just the overall kind of gameplay of it, well, I, I didn't hate it, I kind of liked it, it's kind of just literally was like playing Advanced Warfare, it was, imagine Advanced Warfare, but more in time. It was literally very similar to that. It was. I was like, okay, it's basically an upgraded version from Advanced Warfare, and it still had the exosuits um, and the guns itself. The gun I used, um, I couldn't think of, I can't think of the name of it, um, but it felt kind of it had, the sounds of it. It was like. Uh, futuristic kind of like halo kind of like kind of thing it did sound like a old like you how, how you would shoot a normal gun like this modern day mage it had the kind of space kind of sound to it and the general kind of like feel when you're shooting the gun felt kind of very strange but in a way you kind of felt good and bad at the same time so I can't make my mind up on what I think of that at, at the moment um, but that was really good. Uh, the layout of the map I played, um, it was very com compact it was, but not too big. So the size of the map was okay. Um, and just a general, but one thing I do like as well, they've introduced into this one. Do you know when you normally hold a grenade and you maybe want to leave it to last second? So like you count down one, two, and throw it. Because when, when it gets to three, it explodes. Um, so... They've introduced that now, so if you hold a grenade, it has like a little circle on the screen, so it kind of goes like that, counting down for you. Then you can throw it, then I got like two kills using that, so I really like that element they've added to it. I didn't use any like flashbangs or anything like that, I didn't use my secondary, um, mainly just used my prime we weapon, and didn't do too bad. I got the most captures on my team. Um, obviously it's dominations because you've got to capture the flags man, that's the only way you're going to win the match. 
I uh, got a good couple of kills. I, can't, I think I did like 15 to something. I can't really remember. Remember, but I came first because I had the most captures. I think I got 10 captures and the other people already had like four captures. So I was like, awesome. Um, just what you play Domination for. Um, but overall, the multiplayer of it, I didn't hate it. Um, I'll probably like, I'm not going to do like a rating out of 10, but the, I probably will actually for the enjoyment of it. Um, it's basically like playing Advanced Warfare, but just kind of more of an updated version of it. And I probably I would play it, um, but I'd probably say where I've kind of played that kind of game before, I'd probably like give it six out of ten, um, because it's kind of felt like I was playing the same game, but just kind of slightly upgraded a little bit. And I was, that's what I find different because this is done by Infinite Warfare. Then the people who did inf, uh, Advanced Warfare it was Sledgehammer Games, and it felt a very similar kind of game it did. Because Black Ops 3 has its own way of doing a game. I don't know how they do it, but it felt different. Um, but this felt very similar to Advanced Warfare, it did for me. Um, so that's the reason I would give it like a 6 out of 10 with enjoyment, how I, en how I enjoyed it. Then after I finished playing Advanced Warf uh, Infinite Warfare, sorry, um, they moved us over to the next bit, which, which was on my right hand side, um, was Call of Duty 4 Remastered. <sighs> Man, right, let's get started with the class layout. So the class layout is different, so freaking different from the old Call of Duty 4. So, the Call of Duty 4, you go into it, um, the guns look exactly the same, the perks are all the same, um, and you have, like, say, your classes, like, here, then, just like, say, by here, you have the picture of the gun, and you can spin it around now, which is really freaking cool, and the detail on the guns looks so freaking good. I was like, oh, good. It's got the exact same camos, it's got the gold camo, which is really good, it's got red tiger, it's got all of that, and so, basically, everything in the class kind of Edits exactly the same, and it's like I thought they were going to take like a, maybe like Juggernaut, Juggernaut still in the game, which is like oh, that's cool. I don't really use it myself, but it's kind of like that little kind of element of the game they've still got in there, even though people absolutely hate it. But that was in the original, they've kept it in this one. I remember that. And when you got into the over game, uh, what game did, uh, map did I play on? I played on Crash, I did. Um, they didn't really do a s slideshow, I did see a little bit of gameplay of. of Overgrown, um, which is my one of my personal favorite maps. Um, it was different kind of. It was on a different kind of people. Other people were playing that map, but I played on Crash. I did, but uh, Over Overgrown looked really freaking good, man. Looked very very nice. Um, what gun did I? Oh, that's the gun I should have used. The G something C. I can't remember the numbers, but it's like G thirty six C or something like that. Um, but it's a really good gun. I do like that one. I've seen someone using that. It looked really nice. Um, I can't remember the name of it. If I remember, then it would be helpful. But I can't re remember. Um, but then get into the actual gameplay now. Get into the actual gameplay. Crash looked so freaking good, man. For the next gen version, because they re released it for Modern Warfare two in the DLC pack, that looked good. But these days it looks beautiful it looks like it could be a full game I don't know why they just did bother with Infinite Warfare just release this as a game and you're gonna make millions off this game because it's that good so load up the game because in Call of Duty 4 now if you go and play it now the guns are really thin it looks like paper it's like me picking up this and having this as a gun but it's a menu instead um, it's like the repaper but this one has got the chunk on it I was like oh my god it looks cool man, it's like, that's the first thing I've seen and then just start, started running felt the same as Call of Duty 4, that kind of same speed running and then got up to a certain part of the map and I'm trying to think about the crash so do you know where you got crash, you got the helicopter then you got kind of like a back alley kind of area um, I went up to there and just started shooting a load of people, got a load of kills, because that's like, if you're going anywhere at the start of a game, go there, you get a load of kills. And I got exactly a load of kills at the beginning, because everyone just kept coming there. Uh, I think I got like a 7 kill streak within the first 30 seconds of the game, so I was like, yes again, because everyone just kept on coming at me, and respawning, and just kept coming, and it was amazing. So I got a UAV, I got a airstrike, 
and a chopper within 30 seconds of the game. It felt beautiful, man. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And uh, overall in the game, I did like 27 to 13 deaths. And that's incredible for just like a re <laughs> kind of Call of Duty 4. The reason is because I've played Call of Duty 4 that long now since the release of it and still play it now. I know the map very well. I know how things work. So <laughs> you kind of learn as like years go on tactics on maps. Um, but the grenades are very, very good. Um, they're still the same. They haven't got the same as like Infinite Warfare um, where they've got the clock on the screen. You kind of just got to go one, two, and throw it. Um, flashbangs, I didn't reuse them. Secondary, I didn't reuse the Deagle. I did select the Deagle. Um, but the AK is just so still good. Because if you play um, Call of Duty 4 uh, now, the AK is so OP. It's amazing. It's kind of like so powerful. And I was thinking, because where was the AK so powerful now in the original Call of Duty? I thought they would weaken it on the remastered. Nope. Now weakened it at all. It feels exactly the same, but in a good way. It's like it's it's maintained the same like power and range and everything like that. And I felt it more easier to shoot on Call of Duty 4 than it was on Infinite Warfare. I don't know why, but I just struggled to kind of keep the gun steady on Infinite Warfare, but on Call of Duty 4, really easy and maintain that steadiness of the gun, which I really liked. Um but just an, an amazing game, man. So freaking good. And my team I had with me as well made the, the experience more fun as well. So it was just really, really good. Um, it's a game I'm so looking forward to. For me, I just like obviously being at EGX now for four days, played like a couple of other games throughout the convention, but I got the day four. I was like, screw it. Call of Duty 4 Remastered is getting played today. Played it. Best game of the four days I played all freaking last four days. And I. Uh, it's just so freaking good. It just makes me makes me feel young again. Like when when I first got my Xbox 360 Live and did the, uh, the free trial for a month and just played Call of Duty Full Constant, I I was terrible at it, but it brought back that childhood memory because you got all these games getting remastered now. But Call of Duty Four has that little special soft spot in my heart, and that brought back my childhood for me. I was like, it felt like I was like. I don't know how old, how old, I was like 13, 14 when I first, first started playing it and it brought back that childhood inside of me. I was like, oh my god, I feel young again. I feel like I'm playing that game that I absolutely loved at the beginning but 22 years old now and I'm feeling like I'm that young again playing that game. It felt so freaking good. Um, but for enjoyment scale, that game was a solid 10 out of 10. I'd, well, if you want to go more than that, a 20 out of 10. That's on how much I enjoyed it. It was just incredible. B brought back my childhood memories. The guns felt amazing. The maps just looked incredible. The guns looked incredible. And the kill streaks are still exactly the same as well. And they, they're stuck to what they said. They're not changing anything about the game. And I hope they do keep to that word when it comes to the full release of the game uh, in November. Because if I change it like now, then I'll be very heartbroken because I'm doing this video kind of sharing you what I just played um, about 13 hours ago, but I'm hoping now um, it's not going to be the case, but definitely, definitely recommend getting the special edition of Call of Duty um, Infinite Warfare to get the Call of Duty 4 remastered. If not, wait until whenever, but you got to play it. I really, really do mean it. If you've never played COD 4 before and you've got an Xbox 360 or PS3, go and get Call of Duty 4. It's... It's worth playing before the remastered. Learn the tactics of the map. Play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. Learn the structure of the map. So then if you learn the structure of the, the structure of the map when the new one comes out, you will be golden on the new Call of Duty. Getting a load of kills, left less deaths, lots of kill streaks. You will be absolutely golden. And personally myself, I reckon I'm gonna put this out there. I reckon more of the younger players of like this generation of gaming won't enjoy it as much as the older generation. I reckon the younger kind of generation will go for more infinite warfare than the older types like myself and other people will go for Call of Duty 4. That's what I reckon, but 
I don't know, don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But we've got to wrap it up for this review. Infinite Warfare, 6 out of 10 for enjoyment. Call of Duty 4, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, whatever you want to go. was incredible, amazing, and it's brought back my childhood. But guys, let me know in the comments down below. Um, what do you reckon on my review? Do you reckon it was fair or not? Um, and let me know if you want to see more of these kind of reviews in the future of like any other games. Um, but thank you all for watching today. Drop a like down below if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Have yourself a good day. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.